Hi there, Amy here from Knit Collage. I am back with another making vlog where I show you my FOs, my finished objects. I don't have that many, but I've got a couple to show you. And my whips, my work in progress, knit and crochet projects. I will also be sharing things I am going to knit because we have a photo shoot coming up. So I am in knit a lot mode, crochet a lot mode until that happens in about three weeks. So that's what's happening today. I am in Rhode Island at my parents' place. So different setting, but very pretty. I have my grandmother's portrait to my right, which I am loving and might show you at the end. And then the ask me anything questions that some of you have submitted over the course of the past two weeks, I will answer those in another video. I'm going to keep them separate from the making videos and we'll see how that goes. They'll be shorter videos, but I think that might be a lot of fun. So first up, I'm excited to show you the waterfall tank I finished. I'm not sure if I was mid making this or what, <laughs> but I am done knitting it now and I absolutely love it. I don't have a complete graded pattern for it yet, but I do have a blog post about it that I'll link below. And in that blog post, you can think of it kind of like as a framework or a jumping off point to create your own if you want to, or you can just wait for the fully graded pattern to come out. It's a really simple tank knit in our new waterfall yarn. Um, this is a hand dyed viscose yarn. It's just really cool. I love full garments in it. It is perfect for the 87 degree weather we're having here and all the humidity I've been living in it. It's really drippy. It's really slippery. It's really breezy. I, I knit this on a 17, which for most people would be a 19. So it's holy, but like I don't have to wear something underneath it at the same time. So it's not super see-through. So I like that. I think if it's hot, I don't want to wear a lot of layers and this can just be a single layer throw, throw on with nothing underneath, just a bra. So I really like it a lot. It is very, very cute. I've been living in it and I have another one planned that I will show you here. I love a rainbow. So I'm thinking of doing, let's see, it's going to be a rainbow of colors and I'm going to mix in our wildflower yarn too. So it's going to be something like along these lines, like I'll start darker and then go a little bit lighter and then maybe even go into this. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna let it flow as I start. I've got, looks like I've got some goldenrod wildflower too. So I'm gonna kind of let it flow, but this only took me two days to make and I was focused. I wanted to finish that blog post, but it's really, really fast. So it shouldn't take too long and look out for that graded pattern coming at you soon. So that's the first FO I finished in the last two weeks. The second FO is a sweater called the Ends Out Hoodie by Joe Wadler. I'm helping Joe complete the pattern and get it ready for testing. And I ended up making a larger size. So I have the size, um, I think it's gonna be a four or a five. It's a 47 inch bust and I, I really love it. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to link to a reel so you can see like what it looks like more on my body. I made a reel about it last week, but, um, it's, it's big for me. I have a 35 inch bust, so it's definitely got 12 inches of positive ease, but it's a lot of fun and yeah, it's pretty wild. I might trim the fringe a little bit. I'm thinking about trimming some of these fringe, like maybe an inch because they came out a little longer than what Joe intended in the pattern. And I may even throw some of them inside the sweater and weave them in. It just feels like a lot, but it might not be on the model when we get to the photo shoot. So I don't know. Thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> we have a sample already made up that is a smaller size. And I think I will probably make one in my size as well before the shoot that's like a more, I want to do one that's more like black, gray, silver, ivory combo, kind of like a nighttime go to a 
Beyonce concert in it kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, but that is the Ends Out hoodie by Joe Wadler. And it is so much fun. It did take me longer than I thought to complete that. The, the sweater I want to share next is one I don't have with me. So I'm going to insert some pictures here. It's the Everyday Yay Cardi. So I showed you this last time, but the embroidery wasn't finished. So I spent some time working on the embroidery last week and it's all done. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so that was a blast to complete. I ended up adding some scalloped crochet along the edges of the neckline and the cuffs just for fun. And I'm just going to add in my other finished object photos that I took, had my husband take over the weekend in preparation for our celebration video for the make along. So I had him take pictures of my Faye fringe bag. I showed you all these in the episode, um, the last episode, my dumpling bag, my wisteria shawl, my what else? So I think one other sweater, right? Maisie Cardi, my crochet Maisie Cardi that I love. So all of those, I finally made some, some headway on, got some nice photos taken. So those are all my FOs. Let's dive into whips. So I am here in Rhode Island with my sister who just had a baby and I am knitting her baby a sweater in my favorite baby pattern. It's called the Larkin by Park and Knit. And I'm using four different yarns. Um, I still obviously have one sleeve to go and the neck ribbing. And it's really cute. I ran out of yarn and I got a new skein from Lizzie at the Mermaid's Pearl and I think it's okay. I don't think you can tell. Uh, I added it into the sleeve and I really don't think you can tell. So I'm psyched about that. And I hope to finish this tonight. Next whip, I'm putting it up here to hold myself accountable. I gotta finish this. I just got a new skein so I can finish my second dumpling back. <laughs> All right, next whip. I think I showed you this last week. This is another little tank top similar to this in our new Happy Dance yarn. So I'm working on the pattern for that. It's going to be very sim similar to this. I am going to knit one more in, um, in Dreamland. And I don't even know what color I had because we don't have much of that in stock. So... We'll see what I ordered myself, but hopefully by the next time I make one of these, you're going to see another one of these and this finished and some FO picks of this, um, but really, really excited about that. Okay, so that's my next whip. I have many projects to weave ends in too, like all the projects. <laughs> okay, so let me grab this. This is also a Happy Dance yarn and I am going to use three different colors. Let's see what I have in here. Yeah, these three colors to do a very fun stripe. So it's going to be, let's see, am I going to do it that way? I think I'm going to do it that way. So one, two, three, and then it's just going to be one, two, three. And I'm hoping it'll only be six skeins. Um, might be too much actually. I'm not sure. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm imagining a very wide, long, luxurious garter stitch scarf in this really fun yarn that we have coming out for fall. So I am going to the Beyonce concert tonight. I'm very excited, but it's a drive. So I'm going to work, I think I'm gonna work on this, on the drive. Um, so I have two other whips that I will be working on and need to complete before our photo shoot at the end of August. So I'm working on, I want to do a hat, a simple hat in our new Happy Dance yarn. And I think I'm going to make it an ear flap hat and just tweak a current pattern we have. We have a lot of ear flap hat patterns on the site. So just um, tweak one to work um, with this new yarn and write a new pattern or see if one of the existing ones works with this. And then let's see. Okay. Last week I showed you the crochet patchwork sweater that I designed for fall that is going into testing really soon. So I will also be testing this and making it in a larger size than the one I made. 
and I'm going to use these two. This is actually a new Spun Cloud color that's coming out in fall called Cafe Ole. <laughs> it's a really pretty, it's kind of like an oatmeal camely color. And I'm not 100% sure about the wildflower colors yet, but I really want it to be bright and fun. The other one I made is um, blue, and then I have a mustard one that I also worked on. So I kind of want this one to be like poppy and fun. I'm even tempted to put the neon in here. So that is that. How many whips is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> seems about right but they're all really small projects and they won't take that long so i hope to share every single one of those whips with you uh, maybe not the crochet sweater that will take me a little bit longer but all of these small accessories and simple tank tops i hope to share with you in the next making vlog so i think that's it not a ton today. I'm going to dive into the ask me anything questions next. All right. Thank you so much.